Hello, I'm David Rinks from CPA in Atlanta, guest hosting on Brad Edgar's Excel in 60 Seconds series. In his first video, Brad showed you some tricks with tables. I've got a couple more to show you. As you saw in Brad's video, on the Insert tab, we choose Table. We can also press Control T. Either way, we press Enter. Makes our data into a table. A couple things I like about that. If I add a formula to the right, such as per case price, we're going to see the table expands automatically. Also, when I add a formula, my formulas get copied down the column automatically. Big time saver there. If I go to the Design tab, I can click on the total row. It's going to automatically tally the last column. I'll change this one to Average, change the, this one to Sum, just work my way across, not having to write any formulas here. I'm then going to go back and I'm going to zoom in on this data here. So zoom in a little bit. Watch what happens when I scroll down. Because it's a table, my headings move up in the worksheet frame. In Excel 2010 and later, my filtering arrows move up in the worksheet frame. Big time saver.